Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Irvin, also known as Kubuman. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Office 365 on your computer. So if you don't have the option to install it automatically, if it's not installed automatically at the company that you work for, this is how you would install it. Of course, you can do this for your own home computer as well if you have Office 365 subscription. But in this case, I'm going to talk about specifically Office 365 administration. In this case, it's also called Microsoft 365 administration. For this example, I'm going to log into admin.microsoft.com so I can manage licenses. And I'm going to make sure that our friend here, Bob Bobson, he's the user for this company, has a correct license assigned to him in order to install, download, and everything else for Office 365. Of course, Office 365 E5 license here is assigned to Bob, so he's good to go. If you don't have this enabled, make sure that they have Office 365 license assigned to them. In this case, it's E5 license. So that's your first step. If you don't have access to this, you may have to forward the request to somebody else that's within your company, maybe a different group, requested on behalf of the user, in this case, requested on behalf of Bob, so that way he can get the license, so that way he can install it. Now, you won't be able to install this the way I'm going to show you unless you have the license assigned to that. And you can do this over any internet connection. It's not something that's limited to your company. All right, we're going to get to that real quick. But before we do that, please like this video. Also in the comment below, just say hello, hi, or present, just to let me know that you're interested in this type of content, sort of like in the classroom. I really appreciate that. It really means a lot. I hate to ask it, but it's just really necessary nowadays in order to push the video. But I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, so Bob is assigned E5 license. That means we can go and download Office 365. All right, for this, I'm going to go to a different computer, and this is just a, any computer. You, as long as you have access to the internet, you can do this. So you just have to go to office.com and log in as Bob. I've already done that. You can see that I'm logged in as Bob Bobson over here. And, you know, make sure you go through all the steps, whether it requires you to do two-factor authenticator, this and that. Anyways, just make sure you go to office.com and, and log in. And from here, we're going to install everything that you have everything that he has access to if we click on the little checkerboard here of what i call it you can see the the apps that he's got available if i click all apps you can see everything else that he has access to this all this will be blank if the license has expired or if he doesn't have access to some of this stuff but you can see that outlook word powerpoint sharepoint onedrive all of this excel themes all of this is available for Bob, however, it's not installed. And yeah, the simple way to actually install it is just from this main page. It says here on the right-hand side, install apps. So if you click on that, you have a couple of different options. You can say other install options, basically to customize it, but this should come up here right away where it says Microsoft 365 apps. So I'm just gonna click on that and I'm going to start to download Office Setup. It says right here, Office Setup.exe. It's gonna to start to download. And luckily I have fairly fast internet. Well, you know, this is not, <laughs> doesn't require fast internet to get it going, but anyways, it's happening, right? So he downloaded that. I'm gonna open the folder that he downloaded into. I'm just gonna close this here. I'm just gonna click get, got it. So here is our setup installation right here. So we're going to just select, double click it, right? You may need administrator privilege to install this. And I've already logged in as administrator just to make sure that this goes smoothly so I don't have to type it in. But you may need to install it as administrator. So you may need administrator privileges. So here we go. We're getting things ready as it says on there. And we're going to start to install Office 365 on this computer. And it's going to sync everything. The great thing about it is not only can you access Outlook, Excel, you know, PowerPoint, or whatever it is that you're using on the local computer, but you can also manage that computer with Office 365, or I should say Microsoft 365. Office 365 is just a software that you're installing, but it's now called Microsoft 365. So the whole thing now collectively is called Microsoft 365. So therefore, I'm going to name this Microsoft 365, this video, because I don't know why they changed this. It's kind of confusing at this point until people get used to it. But, you know, I digress. I think it should have stayed Office, but since there are more things within the Microsoft, that means that they can call it Microsoft 365, which kind of makes sense. Anyways, enough of that. I'm just going to speed this up once it's done just to show you that it's installed. 
All right, now everything is installed. It says Microsoft 365 and Office apps are installed on your computer. It says we're all set. So let's go to the start button and see what we have here. I'm going to scroll down, scroll down. Microsoft Office tools. OneDrive. OneNote is installed. PowerPoint right there. Wow, Microsoft Publisher. Skype for Business installed. Skype for Business as well for you. And Microsoft Word. So let's just type in here Outlook. There it is. I'm going to hit enter. And we're going to log in as Bob. Bob B at Cosmic Novo on Microsoft.com. All right. It's asking for our password. Just a moment. That's our password. I have to use my authenticator on the phone. You probably heard the ping. I'm just going to select to approve. Two-factor authentication for Bob. All right. I'm going to click OK. All right. And here it is. Here is our Outlook. Let's see if Word works fine. There it is. That works fine. That's great. Great. All right. Let's see. Excel. See how it pops up over there. All right. That we've logged in as Bob. All right. That's great. Yep. Everything is really fast, really smooth. And that's great. This is how you install Office. 365, but now also known as Microsoft 365 and Office 365 apps. So whatever. This is how you do it. And I hope this video is helpful. If you find it helpful, please like or leave a comment, share with friends, or subscribe. That's also appreciated. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.